What is justice? Our well-being depends on social cooperation. Cooperation requires the consent of the individuals. Consent is impossible without a mechanism that secures our rights. The virtue behind this mechanism is called justice. Justice, explains Thomas Aquinas, is rendering to each one his right. Justice is the cement that holds us together into what we call society. Without it, Hume notes, we will fall into a savage and solitary condition. What is social justice? A United Nations report claims that justice is in the outcomes and must be judged based on economic inequalities. We are pushed to accept as a fact that only coercive government acts of taking from the rich to give to the poor can rectify all perceived injustices. The arguments of the self-proclaimed champions for social justice must be exposed as impractical, immoral, and absurd. Why is social justice impractical? In his book Free to Choose, Milton Friedman argues that acts of aggression against someone's property, such as taxation of wealth and income, for the purpose of achieving more equitable outcomes destroys freedom. Social utilitarians may be willing to accept the sacrifice of individual freedom for the common good, but even they have to concede that our war on poverty has been a disaster, diminishing the incentives of the poor to get on the path of prosperity by receiving good education, working full-time, and forming stable families. Why is social justice immoral? Robert Nozick makes an even stronger case against using redistributive policies to achieve just outcomes. In his Anarchy State and Utopia, Nozick points out that government confiscation of the fruits of your labor is on par with forced labor. Locke, whose ideological impact on the founding of the American Republic is second only to the Bible, notes that every man has a property in his own person, so that the work of his hands are properly his. Tracing private property rights to the principle of self-ownership declares forced redistribution immoral. Why is social justice absurd? Finally, Hayek makes an argument against the very notion of social justice. On the one hand, we have outcomes resulting from human design and central planning that could be unjust based on the arbitrary decisions of specific persons in charge of allocating the goods. On the other hand, we have the spontaneous order of the market, in which the distribution of wealth is a product of countless voluntary individual transactions. To the extent that none of those choices is unjust, demanding justice from such a process is clearly absurd.